Hi there and welcome to Tech Radio Talks. I'm Patrick Goss, the Global Editor in Chief. And today I have Mark with me and we're going to talk about Build and the HoloLens. Yes, so Build, which is the big developer conference for Microsoft. Obviously there's loads and loads of Windows 10 stuff. What do we really want to know about? We want to know about the HoloLens. So they showed off a little bit more about uh, what the HoloLens is, is meant to be. And there's some really exciting things that, that were happening. And it looks like it's one of the most interactive things around at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it immediately picked up a lot of attention. Um, probably less than, say, Apple had done it. It would have been yeah. like everywhere, but yeah. uh, Microsoft seems to have lost a little bit of that kind of attention. But HoloLens is definitely one of the most intriguing techs to come along. Um, what I like about it actually is because it's, it's augmented reality rather than virtual reality. It's not a big full face mask yeah. that obscures everything. What it does is it sort of mends the world around you or wends the world around you rather than, than replacing it. So it's quite interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it adds to it. So there was, there was things uh, in the demo they showed um, an app on your wall. So essentially th they've thrown an app on your wall, you can move it around, you can, you can go into it and it's that interactivity. Like I said, you've still got the real world there, but you can interact with different things within that. And then they showed off something, because it is a developer conference, they're kind of showing what, what developers could do with it. And they showed off the, um, uh, I think it was anatomy of a, of a heart, and they were yeah. moving around the heart. And it, stuff like that, if, if they can dip into that medical market, it'd be, be absolutely phenomenal. Well, it's really fascinating, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's very reminiscent of uh, Minority Report, um, yeah. which has obviously had a lot of that kind of throwing stuff. And It's a massive but feature, but yeah. this is the first one that actually looks properly like what yeah, was in Yeah, it does. I mean, and, and obviously, I mean, we talk about augmenting reality. For some people, that, that might just feel like a buzzword but actually yeah. you know if you had something that told you where your mates were in a live view of your field of vision if you were at a yeah, festival no. and it could tell you your mate stood there with an arrow over his head or or yeah. something like that. That kind of thing would be would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And then when yeah. the, I mean, you give that to a load of developers and, and clever people thinking about solving real life problems, it becomes very very fascinating. Yeah, and I guess I guess what they were showing off was a bit of a mix of the fun. So they were controlling robots with the Hol Hololens. That's which awesome. Amazing, which is fantastic, but in a real world scenario, how many times are you really going to do that? But actually showing off the medical side of it as well, it kind of shows that there's a massive breadth of what Hololens can actually do. Uh, the only thing is that they're not announcing at all when it's going to come out, when we're going to actually going to see any of this this prototype stuff when how long do you think it will be before we actually manage to put a hololens in our living rooms and, and pay and pay for it or if we do at all of course because yeah. there's no guarantee that it's, it's something that's going to be a vaporware or you yeah. know it's a test for something else we've already seen with google glass of course which is one of the most highly sought after yeah. uh, sort of virtual reality headsets or, or augmented reality headsets that in actual fact when it came down to it google decided let's go back and and try again and do something a bit different so you know, it'll be interesting to see if it if it does see the light of day, but um, I think something similar to it will certainly be arriving relatively soon. Yeah, and they've got the big guys on it as well. They've got the the, the man that uh, created Connect working on it, so it's not like it's uh, like I said a, a vaporware kind of scenario. They're going to be bringing this out every time they're on stage now. So actually, the dad is going to bring out the whole layers and say it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So we, like I said, I hope it does better than Google Glass in that we actually get it in the living rooms, but we just don't know. So there you have it, HoloLens is exciting all of us. Yep. Hopefully it will live up to all that kind of hype, but we will see you hopefully in the coming months. Uh, this has been Tech Radio Talks, we'll speak to you again soon. See ya.